how did you get into IT? So getting into IT was actually an accident. <laughs> um, okay. I started as a driver for an IT company that a friend of mine recommended. Um, and okay. I literally was just doing driving and that's all I was focused on deliveries and so on. I was not interested in, um, you know, doing anything else. Um, it was kind of a finding myself situation and I became mm -hmm. very good friends with the help desk admin, um, at this company. And we chatted mm -hmm. almost every day and he showed me how, you know, the help desk works and how this works and how that works. And that caught my interest. Um, and, you know, I just started spending more and more time um, with this individual who kept mentoring me in, in you know, how things work. And it's, it, it was basic things at the time, but it, it that okay. caught my interest just like that. And then from there, uh, did they tell you to do your first certifications or is something that came from you? Um, no, it, it actually came from me um, or my mentor at the time. He recommended if I was really serious, I go and get my A plus at least. It's the bare minimum, um, which I then did. Uh, and, um, you know, that was really the, the start. So it was based on his recommendation. And I took me about seven months and I got um, the A plus because there's two exams. So you have to do one and then study and then do the second one. Mm. So um, am I correct to assume that the A plus was the one that got you your first job as a systems administrator? Not as an administrator. It got me my first job as the help desk. Um, so how it worked was my mentor actually put in his one month re um, resignation and the owners of the company actually asked him if he had a recommendation because he ran the entire system and he recommended me and um, luckily I had already done the A plus at that time and he spent wow. that last month working out his um, notice period literally just training me up. So my first job in IT was help desk. Wow. And, and how much was the salary there with, uh, with the help desk? <laughs> it, it was very low. Um, the, when I, there was a trial period first um, that was about three months. And the salary was about six and a half thousand. And after that okay. three months, it was increased to... Or when I became permanent, it was increased to 8,500. So there was an increase of about 2,000 rand. Okay. And at this point, how much were you earning from the driving, from the driving job? Oh, that was like 5,000 rand a month. <laughs> it, it was just a job <laughs> um, to earn something while I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do or what I had to do. Um, okay. Yeah, I started working pretty late. Um, well, okay. the reason for that, thing, I was actually studying, um, before that, but I, I was doing law and in my second year, I just, oh, I finished my second year and I just stopped. Um, it was not how it looked on the TV series that like law and order didn't, it was not at all like that. <laughs> and yeah, I was just tired of all the thick books. I was like, you know, I got like 10 of those and it, it just didn't work for me. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were uh, busy with your law degree and then second year you decided, you know what, let me go look for a job and just clear my head because <laughs> the theory was too much. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's exactly it. Um, I just needed something to get some kind of money in that wasn't really kind of intensive. It was something I could do, you know, auto, almost automatically, which was driving. Um, so yeah, that worked out okay. perfectly. Mm. Okay. Okay. How did you then now move to your first, um, cyber security job? How did that come about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So after I was one, to, one or two years in health desk, when another position opened up in the company, um, system administrator, and, um, I applied internally for that and 
before I applied, I had already done a few other certifications along the way in while I was in health desk. Like I had done my Network Plus um, with CompTIA. I also mm -hmm. did um, a, a few other vendor specific courses like Ruckus and mm -hmm. Sofast and Huawei, which was basically around um, networking and access points and a bit of firewalling in between. Um, and that really, you know, worked in my favor because, okay. you know, the job was being advertised. It was like a week um, since I applied and they did the interview um, and I got the role. And I was then in the system administrator role for also one to two years, um, actually two to three, a bit longer. And the the move to cybersecurity was a, a it was a bit of a funny one because one of the companies that was under my wing or one of the companies I was managing um had a crisis situation basically and I was mm -hmm. in or oh, we were the vendor of that specific company and I was part of the okay. fixing team um so there was some kind of hack something that was taking place um and because of my skills with the sofas firewall and and you know the, the access points and and that kind of thing um they had me on board uh, to report to the cyber security team and provide them with reports and statistics and and so on and so on and working very very closely with the cyber team um you know i discovered like well there's actually this massive pool of of knowledge that I didn't even know existed or didn't know was a thing. Um, okay. And a few weeks after or we, we dealt with the crisis situation and a few weeks after that, um, the CISO of or the, the manager, top manager of that specific division offered me a role in the internship program. So for the, the intern role, um, the salary was a flat 16,500, 16 and a half. Um, there was no benefits attached to it, um, nothing like that. It was just a flat salary. Um, it is a, it was a six month program, but I was in the program for about two months or just over two months um, before they decided, okay, we're gonna make you permanent. And um, when they made me permanent, the salary moved from 16 and a half to just over 24, 24 and a half, somewhere around there. And that role was a cybersecurity analyst. Um, okay. And then I was in that role for, I would say about a year plus minus, I'm not really sure when the switch happened, but it was about a year or just over a year. I think it was just over a year um, when the one of the most senior staff I was working under was getting ready to change jobs. I think they, they were moving or immigrating or something like that. And okay. um, he spent the last, or he recommended me, and then spent the last like two months or three months just um, more skilling me up and teaching me into like how to approach from a more managerial position and, you know, changing your type of thinking because there's different thinking from a, technical standpoint and, you know, more of a managing people standpoint. Um, okay. And then, you know, the switch came from cybersecurity to senior cybersecurity. And in terms of salary, it went from about 24 and a half to 35. And I was on 35 okay. um, for, you know, until I switched now to this, to this current job. We want the salary. How much were they giving you? <laughs> How much were they offering? If you are happy to share with us, yeah. we'll be no, delighted no, no. to yes, know. Guys, so... <laughs> he's delighted <laughs> to share with us. The audience, the, the village, they always say I let people off the hook. But you know what? I don't want to put uh, people in awkward positions. So if, we, if you are comfortable with sharing with us, please mm -hmm. do share. They initially... Uh, what their plan was, they were going to offer in, in dollars, $195 annually, so $195,000. Um, 
Um, mm-hmm. so that was part of the contract. But according to them, what they suggested to me was, why don't I stay in South Africa? And they readjust the salary, so they would definitely make it lower to one thirty five, so one hundred and thirty five thousand um, dollars for the year. Mm-hmm. Which saves. I've just checked yet, yeah. Ray. Yes. I just checked the original offer was 3.6 million reds. The original yes. offer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, 135. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's insanely high. For them, it's it's the standard. Um, in terms of numbers, it's you, you can go higher than that. But um, it, yeah, just looking at that number, I, I was going to accept even less than that. But that's what they provided to me and I was completely on board with the 135 and you work from home. Um, it is a fintech company, so they're in banking and crypto and, and so on and so on. 